Uh, Susan, you, you spent 15 years at Steelcase, uh, a company known for innovation. Now you've become the director of the Office of Great Start. What, what's the source of your passion for early childhood? Why did you take the uh, offer from Governor Snyder? Okay, um, I'm not an early childhood educator by any stretch of the imagination, and I have not been passionate about early childhood until around 15 years ago when I started at the Steelcase Foundation. The largest grant the Steelcase Foundation had given at that point in time was to Healthy Start, and my boss said to me, um, you need to make sure that this continues. As she introduced me um, a couple months ago, she said, you know, I wanted you to really look at early childhood, but I didn't think you needed to dive this deep. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I got hooked. And the three reasons I got hooked on early childhood are what I call the three R's. The first was, given where I was in a corporation as well as managing a portfolio of investments, the return on investment. I mean, there are numerous studies from Larry's high scope study, to the Wilder study, to the Nobel Laureate study, to the Federal Reserve Board saying that investing in early childhood is a very good return on investment. So from a variety of perspectives, I went to that. The second is what I call the research, and simply brain research. The first thousand days are most critical in a child's development. And as I put it, and given my age, the brain is like this, and the highest development is the first thousand days, and then it's all downhill. <laughs> and then some days it gets really downhill. But then the other part of the brain research is in the connection to me is that public resources are just the opposite. Public resources start like this and then go up. And so to me, given where I come from, the Steelcase Foundation, I'm saying this is a huge design problem. We would not design a system this way given what we know about brain research. So I think that's part of what we're all about is redesigning knowing the research. The final piece given where I was, and so I'm a human service person in a corporate environment running the foundation, I had the luxury of learning a lot about corporations and how corporations think. One of the interesting pieces that I picked up and have applied to um, the work that I'm doing now and what I was doing in the foundation is this notion of quality control and rework. In a manufacturing environment, there are all sorts of quality procedures to basically reduce any flaws in products. So, because it's incredibly costly to rework the product. If I wish we thought that way about the development of children and thought about how is it that we can set up our systems and our work so that we reduce what I call the rework. If you think about the remediation costs that we have and that we are paying for, it makes you again think, well, this is a huge design problem. How do we figure out how to have quality right from the start and reduce any situation where a child will not be developmentally on track? So those, all of those things coming together, it's like we have this incredible opportunity to redo this so that children actually reach their potential.